In this video we are going to take a look at timers and splitter. Uh, first of all let's look at uh, this one as well. We can also look at this clock as well. So let's uh, look at the clock first. To do, uh, look at the clock what we do is uh, let's take the AND, AND gate and uh, I'm going to connect uh, output for this with an LED light and we know that AND gate only turns on when both of the input are like it can be two or whatever the input all has to be one okay then only it turns on so here if I just put two, two input both of them has to be on in order to turn on what does the timer do is I mean what does the a clock does is it actually turns this one on and off constantly so it becomes a clock so let's uh, try this one so instead of this one I remove this one and attach a clock to this and here currently it's uh, off that's why we have this is this not a red color so if I on it's gonna turn on and you can set this one continuously running by going to simulate uh, you can select uh, tick frequency the higher the value is going to be faster so let's say 32 hertz and control plus k it's going to it's going to be constantly running okay that's what clock does and uh, if you look at the splitter a splitter is to put multiple inputs for example if i take a xr digital display and i can put four inputs on a splitter I'm gonna bring it to the other side by clicking an arrow so it turns on and I copy paste this one for three more times so it's gonna be like this and then I attach a splitter to this um, splitter you can uh, get the fan out to be four so it becomes four for uh, you can connect four wires to this and uh, you can change the bits as well I'm gonna put four bits because I'm gonna get the hexadecimal value here uh, one de hexadecimal value is equal to <coughs> four bits so what we are gonna do is for we are gonna input four binary numbers and turn that one into hexadecimal uh, now it connects and I make sure everything is good okay I have to connect this wire as well okay this yellow color means something has to be fixed uh, let me look at what is the mistake so I have connected in the wrong wire, wrong place I have to connect right here okay currently it's zero because you see that uh, if you have four uh, four uh, binary values zero 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 mean that is zero in hexadecimal that's why we have zero right here and it comes from top to bottom because you see this is 0, 1, 2, 3 so it's top to bottom so if you put 1 here that's going to turn into 1 because 1, 0, 0, 0 is, a, is 1 in hexadecimal and 1, 0, 1, 0 is a 5 and uh, you can go up to F because hexadecimal start from 0 goes up to F so if you put all of them 1 uh, then that's the final number that's F if you reduce it's going to be 7 and uh, you can try that like if 1, 1, 0, 1 is a B you know like you can try from 0 to F in hexadecimal using this one and that's it for this video I hope you guys found this video helpful thanks for watching